guys, uh, I'm just going to do a quick little video on uh, what I'm planning on doing with these kasams. What I've gone and done with this is I've stripped it back, all the leaves off. Uh, I put two labels in, the name of the plant and also the colour of the plant. I am going to chop this back just a little bit more to about there. What will happen then is uh, I will be taking these out of the pot giving them a good clean and storing them yeah, I'll probably try and do that over the weekend I just need to go and pick up some uh, yellow sulphur uh, the dust aren't to stop them from rotting and stuff like that so I need to do that because I want to store these properly so I just got I don't want to take all this pot up it, all this big pot yak up home and start getting cuttings of it I want to take this out of this pot and I want to put them in mushroom trays so I have them in sections with the tags attached to them like that so I know what's what so I'm going to start taking cuttings from them hopefully up at home on some heat and stuff like that around about February time I believe so at the moment of time I'm just getting all these prepared and getting them stripped back so this one here for example this is a, a primrose and this one was a nice one and this one was an, a nice yellow one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it back I'm not going to go too far on it strip it all back it's got getting cuttings on it already again guys I don't know how far I can strip it but I'm just going to leave it like that uh, this will come out the pot cleaned packed up took with home so it's not going to take loads of space up so I just have a couple of uh, mushroom trays so that's the idea so I've got a few of them to go through I've got this one here to go through so I'm going to sort that out now okay guys and uh, if you've got any more of the videos I'll hide them on for you so I'll catch us in a bit Right guys, it is now a sad day, the 23rd of uh, October. Uh, we're just up the garden because I'm going to start going through some of my uh, chrysanthemums now. So, as I've seen before, uh, we've got them chopped back. We've got them tagged, the name of the plant and also the colour, just so I, I know. So, I've got one here and this is one here. So, all I've done is... That's the root ball, basically. The stool. Uh, I did notice when I pulled this out of the pot, uh, as you can see by the size of the root system, uh, which is not very big, that uh, I had a lot of wasted compost at the bottom. However, uh, lessons are learned. It's all learned because this was my first ever time growing these plants and absolutely stunning so what I've done is I just pulled it out of the pot I cleaned it up as much as I can I put the tags on with a cable tie so I know this is a, a Allison piece and it's a, a nice yellow one I'm going to dust it with a little bit of yellow sulfur just to protect them a little bit And then what I'm going to do here is I've got some multi-purpose compost with some uh, added John Inns. Uh, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick these stools inside of the compost and just put a bit of the compost around the stool. So I'm hoping to get all these inside of here. So we've got another one here. This is a Billy Bell, this is a white one. So what I'm gonna do now is, guys, is I'm gonna get this emptied out. So I'll put you on pause. Right, and guys, so this one here is the Billy Bell, and as you can see, uh, the roots did go quite far down on this one, but I've just chopped them back a little bit, and I've just got it cleaned up as much as possible. 
A lot of people would steep these in some uh, Domestos. Uh, I was going to do that, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to put them straight inside of some fresh uh, compost and see how they actually get on. So what I'll do now is I'll get the two tags, so I know it's a nice white one. I'll get the tags like that. I'll hide the cable high through. There we go. I'll put it round the top of the stem. And I'm not pulling it up really tight. Just enough. So it stays on the top. And then I've got some scissors knocking around somewhere. Just cut the excess off. A little bit of dusting with a bit of the yellow sofa. And then what I do is I just put that one next to that one. Just like that. I have lined this out with a little bit of paper at the bottom. This is a mushroom tray. Uh, just to hold the moisture in a little bit. And also when I do put a little bit of water in it doesn't spill all over the place and make a, a, a mess, you know. But there we go. That's it there. So if you've got the idea guys, so uh, I'm going to just crack on with that now and then I'll show you the mushroom tray once I'm finished, okay? Right and guys, uh, so there you have it, uh, all tagged up. Uh, these are going to be kept frost free. Uh, I have got one more plant uh, which is sitting there, which I need to go through and I'll be to squeeze that somewhere in the middle or something like that. Just move stuff around a little bit. This is going to sit in the yard just for a couple of days till I get some space sorted out because we're all right for the weather situation. Uh, probably move them on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday, we'll probably get them put inside of the potting shed or inside of the main shed, uh, just sort of protected a little bit from any frost. Then these will be getting transferred up to my house and then uh, what will happen then is these will be going on to some heat mats and stuff like that around about day February time, I believe. But they were going hopefully we'll get some nice uh, cuttings from these guys and uh, we'll get them all transplanted out at the new plot so there we go the compost what was spare so the compost what we managed to save off these pots when we took them out i'm going to do something with that now so i'm going to show you okay so let's go and have a look right and guys so got some compost yeah what's uh, spared off the pot it has got bits of roots and stuff like inside of there but i'm not bothered uh, i took the slabs off and as you can see there, it's starting to break down lovely. And we've got some nice uh, worms inside of here. It's no tape or not like that, it's just all pure cardboard. And you can see we've got some nice, nice worms knocking about. So it's breaking down lovely. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to got some more cardboard. I'm going to put that over the top. And then I'm going to fill that up. Pile the compost on top, just to weigh it down. Looks like we've got some roots coming over there, which I'm going to pull out. And uh, no doubt they come from the nettles. So I'm going to crack on that now, okay, guys? So there's the fresh new cardboard just placed on top. Like I say, it's no tape or no other in it. It's quite thin, so it does break down quite quick now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the compost on top and just see how it is. So then, guys, there you have it. Perfect. Uh, so actually reused it out of them pots, what was spare, to top this up and also to put some more cardboard down. Absolutely ideal, perfect, happy days. Right guys, uh, before I call it a day, uh, I'm gonna chop this. It's starting to get uh, rust on it now, so I'm just gonna just take it and just see what uh, mix I can get off this. Uh, these are, like I say guys, I have got some uh, proper uh, communes uh, on order. Just waiting for them to come. These are just the only leaks that I've been saving over the past two years. So I'm just gonna chop this back Get this steeped in some uh, domestos uh, for 24 hours, and hopefully these little uh, grass heads they start coming away from the plant. These are just baby leeks, uh, basically the clone of the plant. And all I'm going to do with these guys is just spread them around the garden, just for eating and stuff like that. But we'll see. So we'll get on. So I'm going to chop that away and take that home. Right guys, uh, just a quick uh, couple of little videos here uh, just to show you how uh, what I'm going to be doing with my uh, Chris Amps uh, so I can hopefully get some cuttings from them. Uh, there they're all there. These are just going to sit underneath this uh, bench top. I'll just slide them under. 
they're just here there till, uh, till tomorrow and then I saw some out inside of the pot and shed uh, just so they're not getting loads of air directly air sunlight on them and then they'll stay there for a few weeks and then I'll get them up home and uh, start hopefully getting some cuts from them but we will see because I've never done before it's all new uh, I'm just learning as I go uh, so that's why I'm logging it for so I can look back at it and stuff like that so fingers crossed this is the leak head so remember we've got one here where I cut all the flower heads off and it's produced the grass so this is the clone of the plant a uh, little baby leeks and then also I've got another one outside there where I let the flowers on to see uh, if I can get seed from them and just to compare them to see what they're like uh, I have got some giant leeks on order some Cumrians uh, this one is my own I had this for two two years now uh, so I thought I'd just try and keep it going because not a bad leak uh, they're all alright uh, but I just need to work on them a little bit more so this is going to be going up home it has got rust on so this is going to be going up home uh, I'm going to put it in a bucket of water uh, with some domestos in and uh, I'm going to let that steep for 24 hours and uh, hopefully all these little baby leaks here will start coming away from the plant I'm not going to grow loads of them I'm just going to do a tray uh, I managed to pick some fresh clean new trays up from B&Q uh, but they're going to be going up home up to the grow into the grow room I will keep you updated on the grow room all the onions are starting to come through now nicely now and uh, I will start be going through them and getting them uh, into the, some pots uh, but I'll keep you updated on that like I say guys uh, hopefully if the weather's all right we're going to be going up to the second plot tomorrow on Sunday uh, I'm going to be meeting my dad up there and he's going to give us a hand uh, what we made to try and pull this uh, shed down the old shed what's say. Uh, we're going to get that pulled down, get that uh, all sorted out so we can get, a, get it all burnt because that's the only thing wanting to be burnt and then we can start putting our new sheds in and stuff like that. So if that happens tomorrow, uh, I will do some videos and uh, let you have a little, little quick look and, uh, so you can be updated on it and see how we're getting on. Uh, if not, we will be trying to do that sometime the following weekend because I want to try and get it done as quick as possible so I can get the timber burnt so we can start getting, like I say, our stuff inside of there and built up. It's uh, it's not holding my back, but it, it needs to come down. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to do that tomorrow. Uh, but if, if not, guys, I'll just leave you on this note. Uh, cheers for watching and all that. Uh, cheers for all your likes and all your comments. I uh, really, really appreciate it. Uh, if you're considering subscribing and that, come along. Uh, just hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that bell. You'll be notified every time I upload some new videos. Hopefully it's going to be a good season for next year. We're going to have two plots to run. Uh, one's going to be hopefully for growing giant stuff, exhibition stuff. We will see. <laughs> That's the plan for down there. And this plot up here will be uh, just used for just generally just growing uh, veg for what they eat and stuff. We still need to go through the rest of this grapevine. Uh, so I will uh, do a little video on that and uh, show you how I'm going to be trimming it back. Okay guys, so hopefully I'll catch you tomorrow. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit.